They just completely ignored those two passages. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. Galatians 1.8 a fellow named Joseph Smith, for those who don't know, was supposedly visited by an angel who gave him the Book of Mormon, which incidentally is still being written and rewritten. For if he that cometh preacheth any other Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or any other gospel which ye have not accepted, Ye may you might ye might well bear with him. Second Corinthians eleven four. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Fully man, fully God. He is the Alpha and the Omega. What he is not is an angel named Michael. He's not the product of fornication of God with Mary or any other twisted story invented by men who sought power and money and things of this earth. The curse it speaks of in Galatians and in Revelation ends with the lake of fire. That's a big price to pay for not studying scripture. And what we see is grace upon grace upon grace. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly, amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. The common grace is given for the whole world. This common grace is for the reprobate so they can wake up in the morning. They don't deserve it. They have no intention of ever doing anything right or good or just. They want nothing to do with God. But God still gives them grace. They still wake up in the morning. They still live their lives despite their denial of Jesus Christ. Saving grace. Oh, the glory. Saving grace. Saving grace is an inheritance for the saints. You have been chosen for the foundation of the earth. Even so come, praise Jesus, the second coming, our promise for overcoming, glorification with him for all eternity to be able to serve our King of kings, Lord of lords, praise Jesus Christ, amen. Father, so much to do in your name. Father, we are grateful for your Son. We bear his name. Lord, you pour out your wisdom daily. Sometimes we don't understand. And then your Holy Spirit comes upon us in 